Imagine a nuclear explosion on Mars, a statement that might seem pulled straight from the pages of a science fiction novel. Yet this idea has been proposed and discussed in the realm of scientific possibility, most notably by SpaceX founder Elon Musk. But why consider such a drastic measure? The answer lies in an ambitious goal, known as terraforming. Terraforming, for those unfamiliar with the term, refers to the theoretical process of modifying another planet's environment to make it Earth-like, thus suitable for human habitation. Mars, being our closest neighbor, has always been a prime candidate for this process. Elon Musk's plan involves using nuclear explosions to vaporize the Martian polar ice caps. This would release carbon dioxide trapped within the ice into the atmosphere, creating a greenhouse effect. The temperature on Mars would gradually rise, potentially making the planet more hospitable for human life. This is not an idea born of whimsy or an apocalyptic vision of the future but rather, a potential solution to the existential threat facing humanity, the depletion of resources and overpopulation on Earth. Now it's important to remember that this is a highly controversial proposal. There are numerous scientific, ethical, and logistical challenges to consider. For instance, could we control the nuclear fallout? Would the released carbon dioxide create a sustainable atmosphere? Or would it merely lead to a temporary spike in temperature? And what about the potential for life already existing on Mars? Could a nuclear explosion wipe out any chance of discovering Martian life? Moreover, the idea of detonating nuclear weapons on a neighboring planet raises significant legal and political questions. The Outer Space Treaty of 1967, which prohibits the use of nuclear weapons in space, is a key obstacle. Now, having a nuclear explosion on a planet isn't a small event. Let's delve into what this could entail. The next scenes will explore the immediate impact, long-term consequences, the potential for life on Mars, and possible alternatives to this nuclear conundrum. A nuclear explosion is no child's play. It has far-reaching consequences. Let's imagine for a moment the immediate aftermath of such an event on Mars. The first thing that would happen is the creation of an artificial sun. This is because the sheer amount of energy released in a nuclear explosion is so immense, it can actually create a ball of plasma that glows as brightly as our own sun. Now this artificial sun would not last very long, however, during its brief existence, it would release an enormous amount of heat and radiation, which would have a dramatic effect on the Martian environment. The heat would cause the polar ice caps to melt, releasing vast quantities of water vapor into the atmosphere. The radiation on the other hand would ionize the gases in the Martian atmosphere, creating a powerful electromagnetic pulse, or EMP. This EMP could potentially interfere with any electronic equipment on the Martian surface including any rovers or landers we might have sent there. But the effects of a nuclear explosion on Mars would not be limited to the atmosphere. There would also be seismic activity to consider. The force of the explosion would send shock waves through the planet's crust, causing earthquakes and possibly even volcanic activity. This seismic activity could potentially reshape the Martian landscape, creating new mountains, valleys and other geological features. And then there's the matter of fallout. The radioactive debris from the explosion would be carried by the Martian winds, spreading radiation across the planet. This fallout could potentially contaminate any future landing sites posing a significant risk to future Mars missions. In short, the immediate impact of a nuclear explosion on Mars would be catastrophic. It would drastically alter the planet's environment and geology, and potentially pose a significant risk to any future human missions. But the immediate impact is just the beginning. What about the long-term effects? After the dust settles, what's left? The aftermath of a nuclear explosion on Mars would indeed be a spectacle to behold, but it's the long-term consequences that truly deserve our attention. The detonation's colossal energy could potentially kickstart a change in the Martian climate. Now, we're not talking about a light drizzle or a sunny day, but rather a shift in atmospheric conditions that could make Mars more Earth-like. The nuclear explosion would set off a chain reaction, melting the planet's icy poles and releasing carbon dioxide, a potent greenhouse gas. This could induce a greenhouse effect, trapping the sun's heat and making Mars warmer. But it's not all about turning up the heat. Increasing the temperature might also help to thicken the thin Martian atmosphere, making it more suitable for humans. Imagine stepping out onto the surface of Mars, not in a bulky spacesuit, but in your favorite jeans and t-shirt. It might sound like science fiction, but this could be the key to making Mars our second home. However, as they say, with great power comes great responsibility, and nuking Mars is no exception. The nuclear fallout could pose considerable risks to future human colonies. 
The residual radiation, for instance, could linger for thousands of years, creating a hazardous environment for any potential settlers. Not to mention the fallout could also contaminate Mars's resources like water and soil, making them unsuitable for consumption or farming. Moreover, the explosion might also destabilize the Martian surface, triggering earthquakes or Marsquakes as we like to call them. These seismic activities could cause landslides, creating an unpredictable and dangerous landscape for future explorers. So while the idea of nuking Mars might seem like a quick fix to making the planet more habitable, the long-term consequences could be far-reaching and potentially harmful. As we venture into the realm of interplanetary colonization, we must tread carefully and consider the lasting effects of our actions. These long-term effects could drastically alter the Red Planet, but what about life on Mars? Could a nuclear explosion wipe out Martian life? A question that might sound like science fiction. But today it's a very real consideration. Let's delve into the potential impact of a nuclear explosion on any existing or future life on Mars. Imagine for a moment, the red dusty landscape of Mars. A place where we've long speculated about the existence of life. From microscopic organisms to the possibility of ancient civilizations. Now imagine that landscape subjected to a nuclear explosion. The radiation unleashed would be cataclysmic, with the potential to obliterate any life forms that may exist, or could potentially exist in the future. Radiation, as we know, is a powerful and destructive force. It can break down the fundamental building blocks of life, DNA. Any organisms that manage to survive the initial blast would be subjected to the long-term effects of radiation exposure, which could lead to mutations and, inevitably, death. However, it's not just about the life that might currently exist on Mars, we also have to consider the future. Humankind has long dreamed of one day colonizing Mars, but a nuclear explosion could make this dream impossible. The radiation would render the planet uninhabitable for us, making the prospect of a Martian colony nothing more than a pipe dream. Moreover, the search for life on Mars is not just about finding organisms that are currently living. It's also about searching for signs of past life, learning about the planet's history and understanding if Mars could have once harbored life. A nuclear explosion could destroy these historical traces, erasing millions if not billions of years of Martian history. So, as we contemplate the idea of nuking Mars we must consider the potential consequences. Not just for us, but for the planet itself and any life that may exist there, now, or in the future. A nuclear explosion could potentially end any chance of finding life on Mars, but is there an alternative? As we move forward we must consider this question carefully, weighing the potential benefits against the undeniable risks. The future of Mars and potentially the future of humankind hangs in the balance. Nuking Mars might not be the best idea, so what are the alternatives? Well, there are several ways we can approach this. One alternative is the slow process of terraforming. Rather than violently reshaping Mars with nuclear explosions, we could gradually alter its climate over hundreds or even thousands of years. This would involve a variety of methods, from introducing greenhouse gases to increase the planet's temperature, to building giant mirrors in space to reflect sunlight onto the Martian surface. But terraforming isn't our only option. Another intriguing possibility is the use of bioengineered organisms. Scientists are exploring how we might design life forms to survive in Mars's harsh environment and slowly transform it into something more Earth-like. These organisms could produce oxygen, break down the Martian soil into fertile ground, or even help create a magnetosphere to protect the planet from solar radiation. As we consider these alternatives, it's important to remember that Mars isn't just a blank canvas for us to paint on. It's a world with its own history, its own geology, and potentially its own life. We have a responsibility to treat it with respect. This leads us to the future of Mars exploration. The next few decades will likely see a flurry of missions both robotic and human to the Red Planet. These endeavors will help us learn more about Mars, its potential for life, and how we might one day live there ourselves. But as we push forward, we should always keep in mind the ethical considerations of altering another planet. Should we change Mars to suit us? Or should we change ourselves to suit Mars? It's a question without easy answers. But as we continue our journey into the cosmos, it's one that we'll have to grapple with. As we continue to explore the cosmos, these are the questions we must ask ourselves. What do you think would happen if we nuked Mars?